Okay, everything's been loaded up. Now the last thing that I have to do is strap on the kayak onto the top of my minivan. <laughs> good everybody it's currently 1 30 in the afternoon and i'm getting ready to head out to the california delta i will be launching out of tiki lagoon today and i am bringing my top water rod with me today and i'm extremely excited to throw this albino booyah pad crasher frog around because i've never thrown a top water bait ever in my life before so i am just super in height. This is a Dobbins Fury 735C heavy rod with fast action. So this is great for flipping and pitching and frogging. This is a really powerful rod. It is my beef stick. It's super thick and long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look at the way I'm stroking it, baby. Whoa. Anyways, enough blabbering. I'm gonna go head out to the Delta right now. So I will see you guys in a quick minute. destination and I'm gonna go pay for my launch fee right now and then I'm going to unload everything and then head out onto the water see y'all in a minute okay folks just pulled up to my first spot of the day I'm gonna toss this booyah pad crasher I tossed it in the right direction in the wrong direction and I got a bird's nest just as I expected cuz I'm a dumb mother Oh boy, oh boy, first cast and I got a bird's nest. Typical, typical, typical. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. I'm not casting in the right direction, god damn it. Back it up, 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 back it up. Y'all ever seen that Ant-Man movie when Luis was like, back it up, back it up? That's me right now. <laughs> Not trying to get too close to the toolies because my propeller is going to be stuck with a shit ton of grass. Now that's a better cast. Alright, I threw the frog around this patch of toolies and nothing. So I'm going to go with the drop shot, see if I can catch any finicky bass nearby. Got some bites last time I was here, so hopefully they are still in this particular spot. If not, I'm just gonna have to keep on moving. Oh, got one. Oh, me. Oh. Ah. <sighs> well. I got a really nasty backlash on my frog rod. So now I have to put it away because I removed all the line. And uh, yeah, there's no use in tossing around a frog because I can't anymore. And so now I'm going to have to switch over to finesse. I've been fishing for two hours and I've only got one bite. So it's pretty tough today, but I'm gonna keep on grinding and Seriously hope that this day turns around for me, even though I don't have a lot of time left. But, you know, it's a Delta, so any cast can be a f mondo. <sighs> See what happens. Check this out, guys. When I thought my day couldn't get any worse, I get braid, 50-pound braid, 
stuck in my propeller and I can't get it out. The Delta has been treating me like an unwanted side hoe, like literally. It's just not even a joke. It's treating me like a goddamn unwanted mother side hoe. Oh, I'm so angry. God. Finally hooked up. Oh, feels decent. fish jesus h christ oh my god holy buddha <laughs> this has been one of the toughest days for me yet but i am so glad that i finally got the skunk out of the way and will this hook come out god damn ah there we go oh yeah little delta squeaker see ya seriously take anything it's just been so freaking tough man Ugh. even a fish like this sort of makes me happy I mean not really but it seriously does beat catching nothing at all and I legit thought I was gonna get skunked because of how slow it's been and with everything just going wrong for me you know nothing's going my way today it's just terrible. But yeah, anyways, little delta fish. See ya. There's one. Oh yeah. There's a fish. There's a fish. There's a fish. There's a freaking fish. A really skinny fish. But oh my god. It is my first keeper of the day, and he choked that robo worm. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God, he wanted it, man. He really, really wanted the worm. <laughs> Whew, finally, something decent-ish. <laughs> All right, bud. Thanks for the bite. It really means a lot to me. See ya. There's one. Wow. Literally the smallest fish in the history of the world. Oh. <sighs> tough, tough day. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. See ya. I think it's safe to say that the Delta royally me in the ass hard. I managed to catch three dinks and one keeper and it wasn't even that big of a keeper. It was pretty skinny too, but at least it was a keeper and it fought pretty well for its size, if that really means anything. So, you know, it was a tough day and I didn't have a lot of time to fish. I only had about three to three and a half hours. And by the end of the day, it got pretty windy so that was not fun at all today's definitely one of those days where nothing went according to plan i wanted to catch a frogfish i didn't achieve that goal because i got a really nasty bird's nest and you know i had to and cut all the lines and shit and eventually i just unspooled everything and there was nothing left so I was pissed and then some of that 50 pound braid line got stuck 
in my propeller and it's still stuck in my propeller so i'm gonna have to find a way to get rid of that shit also the wind was so f strong that every time i made a cast with my drop shot rod the hook would land in the toolies so i would struggle for a solid five minutes trying to pull the damn hook and worm out of the toolies so yeah guys it's pretty obvious that my day was an absolute disaster and it's pretty clear that I need more practice with my bait caster because I have not dialed that shit down yet. You know, I honestly felt like I was in that 300 scene where Gerald Butler kicked that dude off the cliff, but instead of Gerald Butler kicking the dude off the cliff, it's the Delta kicking my ass off the cliff and it told me, you go get you know, another thing that really pissed me off today was the rudder. I mean, oh my god, it took forever for my kayak to turn in the right direction because of how windy it was. And on top of that, the Slayer Propel 10's rudder is not very well designed. So that means I'm going to have to upgrade it in the future. All right, with that being said, it's time for me to go jack myself off in frustration. And then I'm going to hit the sack. So I will see you guys on my next fishing trip. Peace out, mother.